Hi guys, welcome back to another video of me solving integrals and today I have two questions to give you guys and here is the first question. It looks pretty complicated, right? When we have x and ex together, some nice things will happen and if we have x and ln x together, some nice things will also happen, especially differentiating stuff. Well, why don't we try to differentiate stuff then? So why don't we differentiate x times ln x and see what happens? So we can differentiate x times ln x equals to, use the product rule for yourself, you'll get x times 1 over x plus 1 times ln x, so it's equal to 1 plus ln x. And then don't forget the dx. Well, look at the numerator. We have ln x plus 2. Look at our differential. We have ln x plus 1. That's bad, isn't it? And it's also bad because look at the denominator. We have x times ln x. That's fine. But in the brackets, we have x times ln x squared, which is bad. So why don't we try to take the differential of x times ln x squared then? Wouldn't that be nicer? So it will be equal to, you do the things you need to do. And this and this cancels. So it's 2 ln x plus ln squared x. And we can factor out a ln x. So it becomes ln x times 2 plus ln x bracket dx. Well, well, well. Look at the numerator, ln x plus 2. Look at here, the very inside bracket, <clears throat> ln x plus 2. Very nice. But here we have a ln x. On the top, we don't. So this implies that we should multiply a ln x on the top and bottom, right? So the integral becomes the integral of ln x multiplied by ln x plus 2. Bottom being x times ln x squared times 1 plus x times ln x squared dx. Well, now we can convert the numerator and the dx into, look, the numerator with the dx is this, right? And that becomes dx ln squared x. So we can combine these two terms into one single term. So it will be the integral of the bottom stays the same. But the top is 1 now, and then d of this thing. So now we can do a u sub. That's this equal to u or my smiley face. So it's equal to the integral of 1 over u. Just think about my u as a smiley face and you'll get it, guys u times 1 plus u du. Look, three smiley faces. So from here, we have a classical partial fractions, and I'm not going to do the work. You can verify that my working out is correct. It's equal to the integral of 1 over u minus 1 over u plus 1 du. So it's equal to ln of u minus ln of u plus 1. And this is equal to, you can combine these two lawns together into a division. And you plug in my smiley face back into x's, so it's equal to ln of the bottom being x ln squared x plus 1, and the top being x ln squared x plus c. 
don't forget the plus c. So this is the answer for my first integral. And right now I'm going to show you my second integral. Now, time for integral number two. Hmm, how do we solve this? Well, why don't we do the same method as the last integral that I showed you? We do the differential of something and then and then hope that the good things will happen. So can't we just let the inside of the differential be the same as last time? Of course not. That won't work. So this time I'm going to let the inside of the differential be ln x over x. And now we have to do the method that we hate the most, quotient rule. So it's equal to the bottom being x squared and the top being which derivative first? The top's derivative first. So it's 1 over x multiplied by x minus ln x times 1. So it will just be ln x. This, this cancels. So it's 1 minus ln x over x ping pong. <laughs> and then don't forget the dx. So let's look at the numerator of both of these terms. On the integral, we have 1 minus ln x. On here, we have 1 minus ln x. So it's telling us that we should divide the top and bottom by x squared, right? So this integral becomes the integral of the top being 1 minus ln x over x squared and the bottom being, look, we have a square here and we're going to divide a square. That's basically dividing a single x to the power of 1 inside of the power. So it's 1 minus ln x over x bracket squared and then dx. Now, like I said in the last integral, we can combine these two terms to make it into one term. So it's equal to the integral of 1 minus ln x over x squared. The top is 1 now, and then the differential of ln x over x. So d ln x over x. Now, why don't we let again this ln x over s x be my smiley face? Right? So it's equal to the integral of 1 minus u bracket squared 1 du. Hmm. There are only two smiley faces that time. This time. But wouldn't it be nice if the whole thing in the brackets were u? That would be nicer than this, right? Even though there are less smiley faces, it would be a bit better, right? So then, why don't we don't do this method? And right now, I'll show you a little trick that I learned from Dr. Payan. And the trick is, I'm going to tell you two things first. Is the differential of x equal to the differential of x plus k? Yes or no? Yes. And the second thing is, is the differential of negative x equal to negative dx? So I'm going to use these two properties to change this integral and let the whole thing be my smiley face. So it's equal to, why don't we first put a negative here and a negative here? Well, we have this term acquired. Why, but we need a 1. Why don't we just add it? Since of property 1, it has to be true. So it's equal to negative integral of the bottom being the same. And then d, we add the 1, put the 1 to the front. So it's 1 minus ln x over x. And now, the moment of truth. Is this the same as this? Yes. So we can let the whole bottom be my smiley face. You see, my smiley face is happier than ever now. And like I said, my smiley face is happier than ever now. 
look at his grin. So it's equal to the negative integral of smiley face squared on the bottom, one, and then b smiley face. So here, it's very easy. If you just remove the negative, then the integral of this is negative one over u, but we have a negative at the front. So it's positive one over u. And this is equal to, you plug the u back, or if you want to think about it, a smiley face. So it's one over my smiley face, which is one minus one x over x. But right now our smiley face is too ugly. Why don't we multiply the top and bottom by x? So it's equal to x over x minus one x. So don't forget the plus c, and this is the answer. So this is the final answer. So these are the final answers of the two questions that I have given you. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked my videos, please consider liking and subscribing. If you want to master something, teach it.